We've got Britain on one end of the continuum, where doctor and education is so regulated and controlled, oh. and there's so much accountability, so much bureaucracy, so much form filling, etc. And then you've got Japan with masses of tacit knowledge. Mm. That's the other side of knowledge, and it's not codified. No. Uh, both systems seem to be working. <laughs> <laughs> And I think one of the discussions we had was we would never in a million years suggest that Japan becomes as bureaucratized as Britain because we waste so much time on accountability measures. But on the other hand, is there something about codifying the knowledge to make it more accessible and knowable for the international market? I was the point that only supervisors the new supervisors. I was really struggling to read through the English transcripts. 
you know, the English itself wasn't that clear. Just thinking about it now, I'm almost sure that the vast majority came with zero proficiency of Japanese. Ah, thank you very much for the presentation. Um, I just thought it might be interesting to compare this result and uh, what Japanese doctoral students think in the same context. Mm -hmm. Because um, what I heard today was, was quite different from what I thought about Japanese doctoral education. And uh, um, I think Japan is trying to change its doctoral education to a more systematic one. Just because uh, it is now very much depending on supervisors and the quality of education is very much depending on supervisor and the, I think the government is thinking it's not good. So the, I was very surprised to see that the supervision is one of our strengths of the system and the, uh, maybe international students have more positive experiences than Japanese students. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, no, it's not like the supervision was good, but it's more like uh, the quality of doctoral education is depending on supervisors. Yeah. So supervisor is special, uh, focusing on yeah. one very specific topic, and then you can only, not only, but you can only study that topic in current system, under the current system. But the, the government wants to change, because if you just uh, focus on one very, very specific topic, it will be very difficult to uh, join the labor market, because you are very... I mean, like uh, it's yeah. But as Professor Otto said, uh, in my country, uh, in Japan, if you study something one specific thing too too long, you might be perce perceived as a narrow-minded person. Mm -hmm. So you won't be seen as a specialist. You might be seen as a as a, a kind of it might be a negative thing. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's one thing. And uh, we want to make it more general, like a doctoral education more general. Yeah. Can, I, can I just comment on yeah. this? It's part of accountability mm -hmm. because the university will receive so much money, but the those system uh, postgraduate education very apprenticeship based. Just like you mentioned, mm -hmm. everything is just uh, depending on the academic advisor, depending on the program. There's no structure and not much coursework. Mm -hmm. As I said again before. Japan likes America. Okay? America's graduate education, so much coursework, very structured. Program. Okay. Yeah. 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 If we won't import that way. Do it. Then we are trying to do it, but it doesn't work that way. It's difficult to change the culture. Still going to the apprenticeship job and style for now because, of, for instance, why science engineering, they are standard going to the postgraduate program and it's very important because postgraduate students in both science and technology students are also treated like a lab work labor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they, they are working in the lab mm -hmm. They don't go home. They stay <laughs> sleep on the lab and wake up on the lab. Yeah, yeah. So if you if you international student fit in this family or oh, you enjoy Everything has a safety net, is there support, everything. And the professor feels strong responsibility of him and her to find a job, help them. Mm -hmm. It's not academic advice, life advice. Yeah, I think the, yeah. the Japanese, um, the modern university, uh, professorial chair model comes from Germany in all reasons. I think mm -hmm. that's so in, in Europe, there is a similar thing. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And that brings a whole set of dynamics that are very problematic. Yes. And yesterday we talked about fit. And the, the family model works fine if you fit. <laughs> and if you conform to these characters. Certain type of family. Certain type of family and, 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 and non-negotiable roles. What happens if you don't fit, if you don't conform? So how do we get that balance between making sure people aren't isolated, depressed, lonely, unsupported, mm. or overmanaged, overregulated, and completely infantilized? Sure, you've got lots of ideas. Tell us. I'm, I'm not sure if I've got lots of ideas, but there certainly is a tension there. And we were talking about being whether you're on the inside yes. or the outside when it comes to career progression. So maybe if we yes. see the Japanese university a bit like a company, so if you're in, you'll be looked after and cared for, connected up with the right people and have much more opportunity to progress in your career. Mm -hmm. But once you're out, you're, you're out. So, so I think that is something that does need to be looked at. And it's the same here, and it's the rules of the game discourse again, isn't it? That you yeah. don't have to decode the rules of the game. Yeah. So if you play the game, you'll, you'll win. But for those who don't play the game, who can't play the game, or can't decode the game, what happens to them? We have a time for the yes. discussion. Yes. Um, what is this uh, the transition from being an international student to being a migrant academic or migrant uh, <laughs> worker in Japan? Is there a kind of a smooth transition or there was a proportion of international students to be to be become migrant workers in Japan? Mm -hmm. um, maybe that's yeah, I don't I don't know so. So I think that there were some statistics in Professor Otter's uh, presentation about the trends, but we didn't have that data at the doctoral researcher level. Again, there's, there's challenges in our data. Whilst we had rich stories, you know, we, I'd love to have doubled the sample. I would love to have uh, uh, also had it maybe, uh, if we had funding for a bigger study, have it backed up with some quantitative data. You know, there's, there's more you can do. Um, uh, but again, uh, a lot of them, uh, there was a, a mix between sort of uh, the aspirations was quite mixed. Uh, the, quite a few uh, from the Global South talked about they're coming to do their PhD, then they're going back to their home country where they have a job waiting. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, in some cases, their country, uh, I think Vietnam was a case in point, that if they're academic in a Vietnamese university, they had to get their PhD before the age of 35, so they came, with, took the scholarship, did the PhD, go back to get their job in, in, in Vietnam. So again, there's, um, there's, a, there's a, a sort of mixture. But we don't have, it, be in, there's lots of, uh, what's this has shown me is that it's a small taste, or a small dip into understanding more about uh, Japan, but there's so much more uh, to explore. Also, our, that, that sense of doing that comparative mm -hmm. work would be really interesting. I mean, we did a tiny bit of interviewing some Japanese students in the UK, but that would be interesting to understand and also um, add other countries in that sort of comparative uh, uh, analysis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in relation to what you were saying, yeah. if one of the justifications for the introduction of the audit society mm -hmm. in Britain was the need to build checks and balances yes. into the system yes. so that shouldn't all be based on a lottery as to whether you get a good supervisor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, there, um, for example, you don't just have one supervisor now in Britain, you have two. Mm -hmm. So if one gets run over or ill or leaves, you've got backup. Mm -hmm. um, you also have a lot of reporting. Mm -hmm. Every time, yes, I can tell you, every time he meets me, he has to go away and fill in an online form to yeah. say what we've discussed, etc. Mm -hmm. This is all then audited by our immigration authority, the UK Borders yeah. Association. Yeah. 
uh, audits everything mm -hmm. to check that international students are genuine. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a weird logic here because it suggests that if you can fill in an online form, you won't throw a bomb. You know, which is a very strange logic that, that if people are uh, making themselves accountable, then they can't possibly be terrorists. Yeah, that's the kind of weird logic mm. that uh, applies. But we have so many checks and balances now, okay, that we <laughs> we do more of that than our actual research. Yeah. So this is, we're saying we don't want that. We're not suggesting that. We're not advocating that model yeah. for Japan. Just, just as an example. Danger of not having, I mean, the physical danger of not having some sort of check and balance exactly. in terms of mental health, going back to what you were talking yeah. about. I mean, I've had to save lives personally okay. because I know someone on the phone, I can, on my cell phone, mobile phone, I can call a psychiatrist to get help for my student right. because there's not support institutionally.
They had 194 people attend from 11 countries. So you seem to end up on mailing lists now from anybody that's doing anything on mental health. So daily I get something that says, improve your resilience. <laughs> it starts with you. That is actually the marketing message. Thank you. Because, because I think it's easier and cheaper. It's the individual's responsibility. Yes. So you provide more yes. constantly yes. and you don't care about social yes. issues and more structural things. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's cheaper and easier, easier and it's, it's how is, um, universities in Chile now, for example, are trying to deal with um, mental issues, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't question what is happening with the system, right. um, um, social class or gender issues. No, it's the uh, individual's responsibility. Yes. But it's, it's not cheaper there because in the long run, because you know, yeah. that institution and society well, tremendously, mm -hmm. economically and socially. It so depends because I can I can provide a five session yeah. uh, counseling and that's it, and you should Short be term. fixed yeah. uh, quotation. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like social engineering. Yeah. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's, I think we really need a, a broader um, perspective to address. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all the discussion. But you may you may have a lot of, well, still a lot of ideas to discuss. So you you have a time for discussion from now.